Are we excited now? Are we ready? We are ready. All right. I believe my sister can just come right now. Uh, Julie, you can just come on and give us something, give us something so we can be on time. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, all. Yeah. <laughs> How's everyone tonight? Very, very excited. Very excited. Oh, we're ready, we're ready, ready, mm. ready. So Awesome. Okay. So, um, so for tonight, uh, we will be reading from Second Corinthians chapter four, verses seven to ten. It'll be around there. So, if you want to follow up and read along, you can. Um. So in this part of the scripture, it talks about how we all are earthen vessels, mm. right? And we, we have this treasure within us mm. that carry power. Mm. And that power is the Lord Jesus. Come on. And because we carry him in us, we feel crushed at times. Situations might strike us down, but we don't stay down. And, you know, persecution may come, but we are not forsaken. Amen. And that is because he is in us. And he pulls us through the situation and he comforts us. Mm. And he also shapes us just as a potter does with clay. Come on. Everything that is in our past, whether it is good or bad, it will be and will work for our good. And since it works for our good, the Lord Jesus can use those moments to show his grace and his mercy and also to manifest himself to others. So do not be ashamed or condemned of yourself for those moments. Yeah, that's all that I prepare for today. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 And that was deep. That was deep. That was deep. Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> but we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Hmm. What are the earthen vessels? Are the bodies, our bodies, right? Hmm. Meaning in our body, there's something in us. Oh my goodness. Hey. There is something in us something in our bodies. It is not just a small thing, it's a treasure. Ah. Come on, come on. That exceeds, that the excellency of power may be of God and not of us. Hmm. The excellency of power, the excellency of power, wow. Uh, this message is going to be deep. One day I'm going to touch on it. Hey, she touched something very, 
very, very deep. Wow. Listen, the motivation is this. There is something inside of you. There is a treasure inside of you. There is something inside of you ah, that can prove the existence of God to the atheist. It, it ain't all about it ain't all about words. No, words are good, but the kingdom of God does not rest on words, also by the demonstration of power. So if something inside of you, the treasure which inside of you can manifest outside. Oh my goodness. A lot of people will know that the Lord Jesus is real. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yes, yes, I'm here. Ah, it's deep. I won't touch your message. <laughs> that is very deep. Ay, ay, ay. It's very, very deep. You know what? Uh, this is very prophetic because I want us to pray for one minute. I want us to pray for one minute as we sink this powerful word into our spirits father in the mighty name of jesus christ your name be glorified your name be honored for we have this treasure in our earthly vessels we have this treasure in our human bodies in this vessel which is the earthen there is a treasure oh my god we thank you father for what you are starting in this generation that everybody will look at us and really say that there is an excellency of God's power in us. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for the prophetic word you just released to remind us that each and every one of us, we are carrying a treasure. We are carrying a treasure. You are not a burden to us. You are a treasure. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's get into another scripture. And that was deep. Let's go to Mark chapter number 11. I'm going to run very fast. Erosupia Karoson Talagidos Eprin Tekevikush Katos Edovia Talahusa. Mark chapter number 11, verse number 20. A prophet Noel, you're welcome, sir. You are very welcome. <laughs> Great man of God. I love this guy so much. But just <laughs> I just know it is done. You know, it is done. <laughs> It is done. Mm. Are we all there? So verse number 20, let me just read it. Uh, the fig tree dries up, all right? Verse number 20 starts, and in the morning they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots, and Peter, according to remembrance, say unto him, Master, behold, the tree which thou cast is now withered away. Are you ready? Ready, ready. Now, pay attention to me very carefully. This is very profound. We are seeing a story we are introduced to a story of our Lord Jesus meeting a tree that could not bear fruits. Now, the bearing of the fruits was not because the tree was lazy. It was not be because the tree was uh, meant to be unfruitful. It was not because the tree was not gifted enough. The tree had the necessary gifts, but the only thing that was missing, it was the season. The Bible, when you read the previous verses, the Bible will tell you exactly that this tree the reason why it could not bear fruits, it is because it was off season. So it was off season, not according to the standard of God, but it was off season according to the standard of the earth. It had to wait for December before it can produce certain fruits. Am I talking to somebody here? It had to wait for January before it could produce some certain fruit. It had to wait for June before it could produce some certain fruits. Meaning to tell you that the standards of the world have times and seasons. Brother, oh my God. Maybe they looked at you and they saw that you are so young. Then they looked at you and looked down on you because they, when they saw you, they saw that this brother of mine probably is off season. 
But when you are gifted of the Lord, Jesus went to the tree and then he looked at the tree and said, tree, because you bear no fruits, I curse you from thy roots. When it comes to the Lord Jesus Christ, it is not longer about your in season or off season. If you are gifted by God, you are expected by the Lord Jesus to be in action. Am I talking to somebody here? Uh, the Lord Jesus cast a tree that was off season according to the standard of this earth. According to the standard of this earth, it was off season. So Lord Jesus, when he looks at you and you are 14 and you just discovered that inside of you, there is a calling of God. Inside of you, there is a business. Inside of you, there is something that can glorify his name. He will not come to you and say, okay, wait until you are 30 years. Because once you wait until you are 30 years, who knows? Maybe the Lord Jesus is coming when you are 29. Because once you wait until you are 40, who knows? The Lord Jesus might be coming in when you are 31. So you delay the works and the miracles and the worship of God because you are waiting for the earthly season. That's not the work of the Holy Spirit. It is not all about times and season. The moment you are given by God a gift, he expects to see fruits. Oh my God. Ah, this is deep. I, I, I didn't know you guys, you guys are, are you sure you're ready for this one? Ready, ready, ready. Go deeper, go deeper. Thank you. Go deeper. Thank you. <laughs> so now the Lord Jesus goes to a tree that is off season. If I was a normal human being, I was going to look at the tree and say, you know what, I may be hungry now, but I will come later. But because it was the Lord Jesus who was hungry for the fruits, he expected the fruits on the spot, meaning to tell you that right now you could be sleepy as a child of God. And you think, no, I'm still a teenager. No, I'm still in my earliest 20s. No, I'm still in the earliest youth. I'm still in my late youth. I'm old enough for that. I'm too old for this work of God. When the Lord Jesus comes to you, he will not come and ask you about your age. He will, not, he will come to you looking for the fruits of his gift. The day you became a child of God, you were given a gift, which is not only salvation. It is a position in the kingdom of God. A position which is higher than angels. A position as a child of God. The Bible says, John chapter number one, and they that received him and believed on his name is given them power to be called the children of God. This is a position that the Lord Jesus gave to you the moment you received his lordship. But upon receiving the lordship, it comes with responsibilities now. The first responsibility, it is to display his glory in this world. He did not give you the Holy Spirit so you can enjoy him for yourself. He did not give you power so that you can sleep and say, oh, I'm prophesying. Oh my God, I can see the work of the Lord Jesus. Oh my God, my powers are great. And then you sleep on them. No, those powers are for people out there. Those abilities are for somebody out there. Those skills of worship are for somebody out there who is discouraged and is looking for a word. Somebody out there who does not believe in our Lord Jesus. I love the scripture. It says, if, the, if a stranger can come into the house and find a prophet prophesying the truth, telling him the names and everything that he has not been introduced to, he will fall down to his knees and to his face and say, truly, there is God in this man. Proving to us that the prophetic also, it is only for the work of God to be lifted high. It is only for the people to see the, work, the hand of the Lord Jesus. Am I talking to somebody here? So all these yeah, yeah, yeah. gifts, when the Lord Jesus has deposited something in you, you don't need to be able to prophesy names to be a prophet. You don't need to be able to prophesy the future to be a prophet. You don't need to, you don't need all these things. The most important thing is a great foundation on the word, the preaching ability. You preach the gospel, 
his abilities will follow. All right. Oh my God. You preach the gospel through singing. Healing will take place by its own. You preach the gospel through, prophet, through, through the word, through verbal, verbally, through words, through sentences, through speech. His abilities will follow. The most important thing that you must know, it is this. The Lord Jesus, once he has deposited something inside of you, it can be wealth. He expects to see it operating for the betterment of his kingdom. He's a kingdom-minded God. Oh, my God. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, go deeper. Jesus is a kingdom-minded God. He is a kingdom-minded God. That is our Lord Jesus. And one of the ways we can see that the Lord Jesus is kingdom-minded is this. After he created the heavens and the earth, he made men. And men, what men do, they reproduce themselves. The men reproduce themselves. Actually, let me not use this example. This is for, it's for another topic. I'll, I'll touch on this another day, maybe tomorrow. When Jesus was to go to heaven, he gave us the Holy Spirit. Listen to what he says in the book of Acts chapter number one. He says, remain ye in Jerusalem. Remain ye in Jerusalem until you are endowed with power from the Holy Spirit so that you can be witnesses, not of yourself, not of your achievements, but you can be witnesses of me, not in your own country, but in other sections of the world. He began to quote other places, showing you that the kingdom minded mentality of the Lord Jesus is very, very active. God is a kingdom minded God. He wants the kingdom to progress. That is why he gave us the Holy Spirit. You want the kingdom to progress. That's why we have prophets, apostles, teachers, evangelists, and pastors. If God was so comfortable with only pastors, us prophets were supposed to be unemployed, maybe working in the restaurant, maybe doing something different. Noel, have you ever worked in a restaurant before? Noel. Yes, yes. You, you have worked in a restaurant before. I'm sorry? Have you ever worked in a restaurant before? R restaurant? Restu it? Restaurant, you know, restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's true. You, it's it's true. true. It's wow, trip your hands to Jesus, somebody. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because, right, 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 right. <laughs> my goodness. Because I'm talking here about if the Lord Jesus had not given us as prophets an opportunity to work for him, some of us would be in the restaurant. Because now as I'm talking, I'm seeing no, I'm seeing your face right now, and I'm seeing you, and you are in the restaurant. No worry. I'll talk to you during prophecy time. Right now, let's get deeper in the word. Let's continue where we were. Are you ready, somebody? Now. Listen to this scripture. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, not all the disciples, Peter, calling to remembrance, saying unto him, Master, behold, the tree which thou cast is withered away. Peter remembered the words, the prophecy, the hand of the Lord Jesus, when he looked, he saw a tree and he remembered what the Lord Jesus said before. Oh my goodness. The problem with you is that you want a prophecy, but you forgot what the Lord Jesus said before. If you cannot remember what Jesus said in your vision, why are you looking for prophecy here? If you cannot remember what the Lord Jesus kept on saying to you when you're reading the word, what are you doing here looking for prophecy? I want Jesus to raise a generation which can be like Peter, 
who will remember what the Lord Jesus said, who will remember what the, the prophecies that the Lord Jesus did, who will remember that 10, 20 years ago, the Lord Jesus healed part of my family, and then will look back and say, Lord Jesus, you have done this and that, and look at the tree, it has withered away. Jesus is looking for people who are not going to be silent. Jesus is looking for people who are going to be very active in the kingdom. Are you that person? Thank you, Prophet Noah. You are that person. Because the next level of his glory has to be above the previous. But how do you know that the previous is lower than this current level when you cannot remember the previous? So it's very paramount for us to understand that the past works of the Lord Jesus must be considered as we journey to the next level of his glory. Hallelujah. Hmm. Am I talking to somebody here? Ah, this is deep. Ah, this one is deep. Oh my goodness, this is very deep. Very, very deep. Mm. So in your journey with the Lord Jesus, yesterday I told you that Jesus is here to give you an encounter. But an encounter can be given to you only if you have an eye to see that what is happening now, it's not normal. It is an encounter from the Lord Jesus. What is happening now, it is extreme. What is happening now, it is the hand of the Lord. Peter called into remembrance the prophecy that was given. Where were all the other 11 disciples? Hmm? All the other disciples, they just saw a tree that is dry from the roots and they're slipping in. Oh, the tree is dried. Oh, shame. This is so bad. Forgetting that this was a prophecy, a declaration that was given by their master, Lord Jesus. So when we are dealing with spirituality, you must always consider the hand of God. God is kingdom-minded. The Lord Jesus is kingdom-minded. Everything that he does, he does for the betterment of the kingdom. When he picked you to be a Christian, he picked you because he believes in you. He knows that inside of you, a vessel, that you are not a vessel which is weak. Whatever situation you are going through, the Lord Jesus picked you because he knows that you are worthy to take this journey. This is a perfect journey for you. No matter the hardship, this is the right journey for you. And what he will do, he will not come and say the journey was, how was the journey said? And then you will come and be like, oh, the journey was so painful. And you'll be like, oh, that's so bad. No, he will come and he will look for the fruits. What have you done in this journey? You want to be international, but what about your neighbor? You have a neighbor out there who wants to follow your Lord Jesus, but you are busy on YouTube, on Instagram, preaching to people who are far. What about your village? When are you gonna consider the people in your village? When are you gonna consider the people in your suburb? Everyone is important in the eyes of the Lord Jesus. Before he can trust you with more, can you handle the small? Am I talking to somebody here? So the Lord Jesus wants to use you, not want to use you, he wants to work with you in this journey. But don't always, I, it's a topic for another day, this one. It's for tomorrow. But remember this, what Jesus wants to do through you, it is because he believes in you and because he wants to better his kingdom. So he picked you and gave you the mentality that you have, the progress mentality, the kingdom-minded mentality, so that you can start working on profit in the kingdom. Because when time comes for him to look for this, the, the fruits, he's not gonna play. You will go to heaven because entry to heaven is by believing in Christ and receiving him as your Lord and Savior. But the reward will not be like our reward. Hmm?
So the Lord Jesus will come who is coming for his fruits. The gift which has been given to you to evangelize, utilize on it. The gift that you're given, Instagram, utilize on it. Talk, let people see the glory of the Lord Jesus. Once your duty has been fulfilled, you will be proud. You'll be a proud child and daughter of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you getting what I'm saying? So be kingdom minded. The seed which God put inside of you, you will come looking for the fruits. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hmm? So we're going to enter into a prayer. I believe we can all unmute if possible. And we enter into this prayer. We say, oh, Lord Jesus, do not make us lazy. Mm. Do you know there are some other people who are just too lazy? Some people, <laughs> prophet, some people are lazy. Some people, they are so lazy. Mm? They are so lazy. Even the devil cannot use them. Ah. Satan looks at you and he said, I, no, 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 no. This one, God, I'm okay. <laughs> Even devils cannot possess you because they are too lazy. They look at you and they leave you as a free roaming person on the streets. <laughs> oh my God. I'm joking. I'm joking. But the Lord Jesus wants fruits. Every gift that you're given, every opportunity you have, he wants fruits. The business that he has given you, the money you have, let it be for the betterment of the kingdom. Whatever business you're going to start, I want to pray for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's all begin to prepare our spirit for prayer. Begin to prepare yourself for prayer. Begin to prepare yourself for prayer. Begin to prepare yourself for prayer. And as we enter into this realm of prayer, those who want to give, uh, we're going to drop the PayPal link. And then as you're praying, pray for your seed as well. And then after the prayer and the offering, I'm coming to pray for everybody. And I'm coming to prophesy uh, by the grace of our Lord Jesus. So let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lebracas, Kotalagi, Brante, Kizo. Manda rabaka zoko tonsha la baike tonte le deisko krake tonsha rakuska bade gizo begin to pray 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 laki astro ki parosun bede laki pros kantos redekus ka paragizo 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 la zoko tonsha la mande idra kato kuto kato purified oh my God as you are looking for fruits let us be fruitful. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, we want to be fruitful. In the mighty name yeah. of Lord Jesus Christ, we just want to be fruitful. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want to pray for Jordan. I want to pray for Jordan Tuli. Jordan Tuli. Jordan Tuli. It's like I'm looking at this person. Oh. Like this person is still in the earliest teens. It's like he's still a teenager. It's oh, yeah, my <laughs> my sibling, my sibling. Is he? By the way, is your sibling? Wow, you brought your sibling. <laughs> wow, thank you. keep it up. This one is like, yeah. Mm, hey, are you? But maybe. But please talk, talking to me. I, I will uh, translate to him because he will go to school today. Oh, because I'm seeing his ear on the Zoom. I'm seeing Jordan Tully. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, but he's 
preparing to school. So what do you want to talk about him? You can talk to me. No, I just want to pray for him. He's a teenager. How old is he? Oh, yes. Yes, teenager, teenager. How old is he? <laughs> yeah, uh, 17. 17, wow. Yes. I'm going to pray for yeah. him right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm covering okay. this guy. Thank you. As he goes to school, yes, some lady that bind on him. In the name of Jesus Christ, every distraction that the enemy wants Lord. to bring, he will not, it will not succeed. In the mighty name of our Lord yes, Jesus Lord. Christ, Lord. distraction will not succeed. He's going to be yes. successful in his doings. He's going to be doing business. Amen. That makes sense. He's going to be Amen. Doing work. Yes, Lord. He's going to work for the Lord. He's going to work for the Lord. Let yes, Lord. Him. Amen. Yes, Lord. Who inside of Jesus. your family likes, likes, loves music? Because God wants me to also pray for Jordan. I don't know why. I've never seen him do music. But God wants us to pray for Jordan as well, okay? Yeah, my, he can play music. Yeah? He loves music. He loves music. He loves music, right. So we need to yes. pray for him as well that he does not lose the energy for music. In the name of Jesus Christ, he must start playing the keyboard and drums. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. If you get that opportunity, just yeah. teach him the drums and the keyboard and singing so that he can be he yeah, can yeah. Start pushing that side of his ministry. Are you get what I'm saying? Wow. Jordan. This okay. is a teenager okay. with okay. greatness. This is a teenager with greatness. I'm gonna pray for him. He said yeah, yeah. you are gonna mentor him very well. And I believe that the Lord Jesus is proud of what you have already started. In Jesus' mighty name, I'm praying for him. Jordan, may your works, amen, amen. everything about you, be blessed. Amen, in the amen. name of our Lord Jesus, it shall be successful. You will not be stopped. Amen. Everything you do, you amen. will not be stopped. Amen, amen. Yes, Lord. I'm seeing a yes, bicycle. Lord. I'm seeing a bicycle. Amen. I'm seeing a bicycle. I'm seeing a bicycle. I'm seeing a bicycle. All right. There's like I'm seeing a bicycle. So what? Hmm? Oh, what about it? Mm. Yeah. Is there a bicycle what that, mean? That, that belongs to him or yourself? Do you guys? You, you mean we, we use bicycle? Do you own any bicycle? Yeah, yeah. As, as he's going to school, what is he going? Yeah. With? What is he going with? Oh yeah, we are uh, using bicycle to go go to school. Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> prophesy. <laughs> Can I prophesy here? <laughs> prophesy. <laughs> because yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at him right now, and I'm seeing a bicycle. I'm seeing a teenager. I'm seeing a progress, and he's gonna be covered by the Lord. Yeah, Jesus. yeah, he's going. My God, my God. Yeah, he's going to school by with bicycle too. Yeah. Can I prophesy? <laughs> Prophesy. Uh, <laughs> this is just to motivate you and everybody who's here. The Lord Jesus will lift you up as you are going to be praying. Pray that Lord Jesus happened in the prophetic. God is not stingy with his gifts. He wants you to have these gifts for the betterment of people who are in Indonesia. As I'm talking to Indonesia, the Lord said I must also minister to Prophet Noah. Prophet Noah, can I speak to you right now? Uh, yes, prophesy. When I'm speaking to you, the Lord Jesus is ministering <laughs> that there is a season in your life where you were pushed to a ministry. I don't know this. Have you ever had something like Gareja, Mawar, Sharon? It's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's my local church. It's your local Mawar church. Mawar Sharon is my local church. Yes. What, right. How do you pronounce it? Wow, prophesy. Gereja Mawar Saron. Gereja Mawar Saron. Because I'm looking at this, the Lord is ministering to me, and I'm I'm going to prophesy here. Parasoto. Yeah, prophesy, prophesy. I'm excited. Joy is just join us. Once once the Lord said, you need to now pray for Noah, I saw people shouting, Gereja. It's like Gereja Mawar Shalom. And the Lord said, this is the foundation that he had laid on the prophet Noah. 
Prophet Nol was given this opportunity to grow the ministry there. You remember when I told you yesterday something like Ami, 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 Ami. Uh, Jackie, you remember when I told you Ami, Ami, Ami? Oh, yeah. It is now okay. connected to the local church that belongs to Prophet Noah. I don't know if Prophet Noah can recognize something. Mm. It's like the Lord's army or God's army, something, something like that. Oh, yeah. army of God. Army, army of God. God. What is that? Army of God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, come army, on. Yeah. Army of huh? uh, Prophet, army of, army of God is the youth, uh, the youth, um, Department in uh, in Mawar Shalom Church. It is the youth department. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, somebody. Right. Yes. Come on. Yeah. I'm prophesying. Hallelujah. Man. Because when I'm talking to you, Prophet Noah, the Lord Jesus said, "Truly, He has put the the, the the function of the prophetic inside of you. All He needs you to do it is to stay it up. Don't wait for people on the YouTube channel. Don't wait for people on Instagram. Don't wait for people on Zoom." Start pushing it right now in your local ministry, which is uh, the one we just spoke about. Pa -pa push it, push it. Whatever challenge you are going to receive, it is good. It is to strengthen your character for the bigger journey. Are you talking? Am I talking to somebody here? Jesus, Hallelujah! All right. Be Thank you, Jesus. Glory. I've seen that army. Yes, that one. The Lord uh, God. Okay, I just forgot it again right now. <laughs> I'm in the spirit. <laughs> I'm in the spirit, so I forgot it again. That one, army, yes. He wants you to also push oh, okay. that army. Give them strength to push the kingdom. Mm. When I'm looking at you in the spirit, you are surrounded by Muslims more than you are surrounded by Christians. All right? Yes. You are surrounded yes. by Muslims more than you are surrounded by Christians. That is why when I spoke to you, when I started the preaching, the Lord ministered to me to start telling everybody that there is a seed inside of each and every one of you that must manifest for the betterment of the kingdom. Why? So that those people who are surrounding you, the Muslims and everybody, they can see the work of the Lord Jesus. So you are on a mission in Indonesia, where in your community, where there are a lot of Muslims, it is to demonstrate his great, great greatness. All right? Amen. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'm very happy because you are here and Jackie is here. I told Jackie yesterday, I still have the recording. Mm -hmm. Somebody <laughs> gave me the recording. I told Jackie that you are going to be a very good mentor to him. I don't know if you've seen this before, but the combination that you guys have, it is it can be a very strong combination. Oh, Amen. my goodness. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I'm oh, in the dark. My God. I'm in the dark now. I'm in the dark oh. now. Uh, South Africa has started. <laughs> Our South African political. <laughs> like it's... Indonesia too, maybe. <laughs> like you guys that side. <laughs> yeah, here, too. here too. Here too. It's it's uh, it's happening here. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I'm not the, I'm not the only one who's suffering here. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. It's okay. Oh my it's okay. god. <laughs> I hate, this thing. I hate this thing. All right. So maybe for you right change, now. Change the time. <laughs> uh, Prophet Noel and Jackie, touch both of you. Touch your head in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. May they increase in anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Increase them in anointing. Amen. Yes, Lord. Give them more grace. Yes, Give Lord. them more boldness. All right. Yes, Lord. Because Prophet yes. Noel. You know, when I'm looking at you, I'm seeing vit visitations that you have been receiving from Prophet Passion Java. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Okay. That's right. I'm seeing visitations. Then the Lord is ministering to me to tell you that your problem, it is not because you're not gifted. It is just an issue of boldness. Once you step out of that comfort zone and begin to preach with all your heart, begin to prophesy. You will see that the Lord Jesus is actually speaking to you, okay? Okay. Begin to do that. Begin to put that in action. Uh, thank you. Because Amen. those visitations Amen. are not by accident. They are visitations which are taking place because the Lord Jesus is proving to you that you are called by him. Amen. All right. Let me, let me let, can I prophesy. 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 Yeah, prophesy. <laughs> 
of the Lord, the kingdom of the Lord Jesus. May you rise in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you rise in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you rise in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you rise in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you rise in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you rise in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you rise in the name of the Lord Jesus. I receive in the name of Jesus. Receive 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 the name of Jesus. Rado sheked kaga bagazugu lebis rago do shakra di bala bala di rebosa rado shakra da bahata raba sete rado shakra da basete rebosa sete kapara ukas rado shakra da bahata rado sete rado shakra da bahata rado sete raba dege de bosha da rege de bosha libra zege de bon suto rogo do bosha libra sete Come on. Gada bosha kaya para you are not until you demonstrate this greatness you are not going to heaven until you demonstrate the greatness you are not going to heaven until you demonstrate the reality of the kingdom you shall not receive oh my god come on come on push it push it joy ラララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララ
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It is for the betterment of the kingdom of God, for the betterment of the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus. I saw something very sad. I don't know if it was someone who sent it to me. Uh, I saw in Saudi Arabia, and in Saudi Arabia, they were beating up Christians for not denouncing Christ. Mm, Jesus. Wow. And I in South Africa, you in Texas, you in Milwaukee, you have an opportunity to freely go around, move around the cities talking about Christ. And somebody in Saudi Arabia is being beaten up for this Jesus that we are talking about. So it means that now God has given you a, an opportunity as his child to be very loud about the kingdom. No one is gonna kill you if you do that in, in America. No one is gonna kill me if I do that in Africa. All right? Yes, sir. So they are facing a harder challenge than we are, but they are not denouncing Christ. Mm. They're not facing a lot. You're just facing some relationship problems. Uh, you're facing some, you know, those, those minor, minor fleshly things. But if we can be loud about the Lord Jesus in our communities, while we are still allowed, it shall be, it shall be great. You know what I'm saying? The Lord Jesus, Hallelujah. we will receive the fruits. Oh, Jesus. Listen, Amen. it's a revival. Whatsoever that was sleeping inside of you, it must wake up. Amen. You get what I'm saying? Amen. Yeah. Amen. This was so very sad. It was so very sad. Very confusing to the eye when I saw that people are actually dying right now as we are talking for being Christians. And I have a prophecy for the people in Milwaukee. I have a prophecy for the people in Milwaukee. Uh, I have a prophecy for the people in Milwaukee. We need to be very, to pray for these people. Are we here? Are we ready? To, are we still in the prayer mood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because what I'm seeing in the spirit is that there are going to be a lot of gunshots that will be happening in Milwaukee. In Milwaukee, all right? I'm seeing that, listen to this prophecy. There are gunshots will be taking place and people are, there's been, wow. Because I'm standing here and I'm talking about Milwaukee and I'm seeing people getting shot. Can I surprise you? I don't know if it has already happened, but very soon you will hear in the news that pastors are being... <laughs> And some people will think ah, it's normal, it's, it's, it's gangs. No, it's not gangs. It's the devil working an operation. Yeah. There are men of God who are going to lose their yeah. life in Milwaukee through gunshots. And some will be getting accidents, but we need to pray for them so that God covers them. You get what I'm saying? Yes. It's getting crazy. It's getting crazy in this world. It's getting out of hand. And... Any other international prophecies shall be given later on. I believe we're going to be meeting a lot if you guys love what we are doing here, okay? All right. So the people of Milwaukee need to be covered. We need to pray for them. And uh, Julie, you are like a prophet in Milwaukee. You need to be able to pray for the people there, intercede for them, let them be covered. Let those who are Christians be covered. Whatever situation, whatever gunshots there'll be, a lot of crime, you'll be shocked. Right now we are talking, right? You'll be surprised, not even months from now. Weeks from now, you'll be hearing that there they are, they are shootings which are taking place. And I'm seeing people who are going to be evicted out of church buildings. It's getting crazy out there. It's getting out of control, all right? And I'm very soon I'm gonna be coming to Milwaukee. Mm. I'll be in Milwaukee very, very soon. Mm. <laughs> all right? I'll be, coming, spirit I'll be coming in heaven. <laughs> and if the Lord Jesus will probably lay a strong foundation that side, there was a time where through Joseph, um, who's this man of God? Benny, 
I saw a video of it. where I saw Benny him doing a mighty crusade in Milwaukee. Ever since then, no one has risen up in Milwaukee and done something big. Am I wrong? Come on. We hear about, I'm not wrong. We hear about, you know, in America, people are relaxing. We hear people about people like Prophet Brian Khan. He's doing his own thing somewhere in Houston. I don't know, somewhere in Houston or whatever. We hear people like uh, Prophet, uh, Prophet Lovi, Los Angeles. Now he's even coming to Houston. People are doing amazing Christian work outside of Milwaukee. What is happening to Milwaukee? The only great thing that these people are doing is to shoot each other in church. <laughs> Ah, God forbid. No, 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 no. So we are coming and we'll do something great, something big. In a couple of years, it's going to be massive. No matter how many people are going to fight the movement, we are coming. All right? Julie, prepare your heart to be a blessing to many people as possible. And everybody, in, and those in Texas, uh, Prophet... Lovi is coming to Texas. I don't know. You'll be shocked to hear that I'm also in the inside, you know. I'm, I don't know. You never know. Um, I might also be coming to Houston with Prophet Lovi. So just be just be ready. So you guys make sure you are in Houston. Uh, Prophet Lovi is coming. I think it's March. Yeah, it's March. It has to be March. And then those in Milwaukee, very, very soon, very, very soon will be there. And then Prophet Noel, I want you to say something to the people and then we'll go to Jakey as well. And then we go to Joy as well. And then we close up with, I think Dave, Dave, oh, Dave said he has a problem with the mic and together with Terence, they have a problem with the mic, so it's okay. Uh, Prophet Noel, you're gonna say something and then we go to Jakey as well. And then we wanna go to jo Joy and then we go to Julie. And then the Lord Jesus is gonna be a blessing to us, all right? Uh, you can even protest uh, if, if 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 the Lord moves you to do that. Okay. <laughs> um. What What do you mean? I, I, what What to say? Anything. Anything. Be you can prophesy. You can give us some. Prophesy and preaching. <laughs> give us a word. <laughs> Take over. <laughs> Yeah, I, I still blank. I still blank. I, I can't. I you don't know how to work. Give us the wit. Give us the wit. And then something. Just pray or pray for us. And we are going to receive it. Oh, okay. Uh, our Father in heaven, uh, we bless. Uh, uh, brother, we bless uh, Prophet as the blessing, Lord. Use him mightily and make your glorious uh, on him. Uh, 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 upon him, Jesus. and uh, uh, what is your your promise for him in 2023 that you uh, that uh, you will be bring him to USA, uh, protect him, and make your your promise will be done uh, for him in this Man, 2023 yes, uh, for yes. for Man. planting a church in 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 USA. Man. Lord, Amen. Uh, we yes, pray Lord. for the. Uh, 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 his ministry to be yes, to Lord. be grown to be to be fruitful. Amen. Amen. Uh, yes, Lord. In no matter the season, no matter the season, but you will uh, uh, you will found the fruit in yes, his Lord. ministry, and the fruit is Amen. more, more, and more. Uh, again, Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Jackie, come on, come on. This is deep. I love your prayer. You wow. see, no matter the season, no matter the season, the fruits will be found okay. out in the name of Amen. Jesus. Mm. By the way, forgive me, Pierce, if because my English is not good, but you it's know, a, <laughs> I'm still learning English. Don't worry. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not also my mother tongue. Don't worry. Just talk. And, uh. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so let me pray for you guys. Okay. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come to you right now in the mighty, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I bless my brother, my sister here, mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, especially prophet, bless you. You grace, your anointing, your healing, your 
your uh, anointing, your oil is upon him right now. So we believe he will increase your 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 servant to be great man of God in your time, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will see on the top in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And everybody here in this platform will grow and grow by the way, by the uh, guide of the Holy Spirit, with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We are we are growing by the grace of the Lord. We are hit with his name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we shall testify the goodness of the Lord in the end of the Lord, in the end of the year right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I bless my brother and my sister here. Amen. 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 We bless Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ so much for this opportunity. Oh, yeah, thank you. I believe uh, my sister Joy, are you ready? Um, yeah. I'll, am I praying? Hmm. Should you pray? Give us the word. You can give us prophecy. You can pray for us. Whatsoever the Lord Jesus put in your spirit, we are ready to receive. Um, amen. Amen. Hmm. Thank you so much for the opportunity, uh, hmm. man of God. Um, I do not, I do not take it for granted. Mm. Um, the word that you, that you talked about was very, was very, um, timely for me as well. Mm. And I just wanted to as well share some, some share a little bit on that as well. Mm. Um, that something that I was, I was learning yesterday, um, during my time with the Lord as well, um, very much on point. Um, and I came to understand that when it comes to even greatness, achieving greatness in anything you have to as christians as believers um what sets the world and what sets us apart is understanding your time and your season exactly you know and a lot of the times is that you can be in you can do all the right things have all do all the right things work hard um do so many things but be in the wrong season be in the wrong time frame being in the wrong season and doing everything right, but at the wrong time, and you don't see the rewards or reap the harvest of what you're supposed to be reaping in that in that in that in that time in that season. And so, it's it's so important for us to understand, like as believers, um, that we have to understand the times and the seasons of God. If this is the time and a season of you to pray, then you do nothing else but you pray as the Spirit is leading. Exactly. If it's a time and a season of you to fast, then you do nothing else but fast. If it's a time and a season of you to um, evangelize, then you do nothing else but evangelize because within that time and that season, you might find that you are har you are you are receiving a harvest from what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But if you miss that time and that allotted time and that season, then you miss out on something that can change your whole entire life. I remember one day I was hearing a story um, and a man of God was sharing that he said, that this one man of this one um, guy went to give an offering, mm -hmm. and um, when he gave this offering, what had happened? Um, he gave an offering for his business for the acceleration of his, his business. And a few days later, he came back to the man of God and he said, and he told him that my business is not working, um, this is not glowing. And the man of God asked him when he gave the seed, and he began to he began to prophesy and see in the spirit that that this man was actually supposed to die the night before. Yeah. And he was he was about to die the night before, and he explained to he further explained to the man that seed that you gave that allotted time was not for the business, but it was for your own life. So when you gave that seed, you were not you, even though you were giving for your business, but the Lord had positioned that time for your life. So when you gave, it was going towards your life. The time, the seed, the time and the season to give for your business had already passed, right? So. In, in other words, what actually saved him was the seed that he was giving for his business, but because he misunderstood the time of things, he gave instead for his life, which ultimately it saved him. So it's coming to that understanding of times and season as Christians that if it's a time right now, we're living in the end, the last days. And our time in our season is to prepare, is to prepare and preach the gospel, as you were saying, that we can't be afraid. We can't, we can't, we can't um, be be scared, but we have to walk in boldness, and that is the the time, and that the, that is the time in the season for it. Time Another season. time will come that it's not going to be like this, but the church is going to face persecution. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you think of a broad example, like for example, the phone BlackBerry. BlackBerry had its time and its season where it was popular. Now the most popular thing is what iPhone. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, it was just making me think so much and, and, and opening my eyes to so much and understanding that, listen, like this is this game, this, this Christianity thing is not a game, but it's, game. it's literally an understanding of your time and season. And if you miss it, then you miss it. 
You know, obviously that we cry unto God and we ask the Lord to redeem, redeem. But that's why the Bible says the Lord teaches to number our days so that, you know, so that we understand that like there's a time for this and there's a season for this. And I just wanted to share that because that really like that really hit my my spirit so much. That's yeah, so, that is so deep and so profound. Wow. Where are you? Why, why did you hide your face? This was so deep. And so profound. Oh no, I didn't want to see my face. <laughs> but yeah. it is what. Well. All right, all right. That was so deep and so profound. Hey. Mm. So you can actually be off season, doing the right thing, but off season. Yes. It's deep that one. Hey. So yeah. now we're in the season for the work of God to really make impact very soon we might no longer be given <laughs> uh, that's very true very true that's why I, I said i was so shocked when i saw the people in saudi arabia beaten up for this gospel we are still free very soon it might come to us as well yeah. mm. i want you to prepare something what i also saw is that when we were praying I also saw that there's a, you see, the kingdom of the devil has been hiding. This year, it's going to be coming out. It's going to be yes. very audible. It's going to be, you know, they will not even be discouraged when they tell you that you, this is the sat uh, Satan or what, what church, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. So we need to be prepared. Such things are coming in our country. Yeah. Such things are coming in our land where the devil will not hide himself. That is why it is, that's why uh, the women of God just said something very profound. It is the season, all right? <laughs> so this is so deep. Thank you so much for what you just shared with us. It's on recording. Uh, you will find it on the YouTube, of course. <laughs> it, it is so deep. It is so important, so profound. And let's give, um julie an opportunity before we are going to close up hey my god um i don't have anything to say i'm just very happy to be here and i'm very blessed by all the words that was spoken mm. for the past days yeah, so thank you so much thank you thank you Thank you so much as well. Uh, keep doing what you are doing, all right? You are doing a massive thing, and you probably don't see it yet, but you are doing a massive thing. But you will see the fruits later on, okay? Hello? All right. So... We let me pray for every one of you. Uh, Joy, I want God to just use you mightily. This is the season that you've been waiting for, okay? Thank you. I want God to use you mightily. Yesterday when I spoke to you, I, I told you that I'm seeing you doing in the worship team from a young age. Is that, I don't remember, something like that. And a lot yeah. of, yes. There is something that the Lord Jesus has also put in your hands, which is an ability to write songs. Amen. Wow. Amen. That's true. It's true. The Lord That's Jesus has given you an, a brain and an ability to write music. You see, some people can say, I ah, maybe this is RB. This is not RB. This is music that ministers to him and to his people. Amen. He wants you to, as you're now going to get deeper in ministry, he wants you yeah. to get deeper in writing as well. Get deeper in yeah. this. And the support that you're going to receive will shock you as well, okay? Yeah. That's, that's, that's so much confirmation because I've been thinking about that like for the past few months mm. and I've been like, oh, these, where the idea is going to come from. You know, even yesterday I was sitting, trying to play keyboard, trying to come up with a song. And um, I, was, I was trying to just come up with words. And um, I mean, I got a bit discouraged, but I was like, you know what? It's okay. The time 
as I progress, it will it will come. But that's so powerful because I've been wanting to write my own music. Um, I even bought everything for producing to be able to produce songs. Yeah. So that, that's so much confirmation. This is incredible. Some people will think probably we spoke on Instagram or something, or you got my WhatsApp number and we spoke. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. Ah, this is deep, but it is for the betterment of the kingdom. That, Amen. that one, you must not, dis- you whatever, you know what? You were imagine you were discouraged yesterday and the Lord is now ministering to you about it today. So you see, when you guys Amen. pray, God is always ready to respond. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. They, you don't pray in vain. Everything that you're doing, the Lord Jesus is monitoring it. Amen. So you guys are covered very much. Joy, do that as you're getting deeper into ministry. Even if the song sounds like it's boring, write it. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus will bless so many people, help so mm. many people through your music. Your music will do a lot of wonders. Many people don't know this yet, but I've Amen. seen it in the spirit, and the Lord wants me to confirm to you that you're getting deeper in ministry as well. Get deeper in mm. the department as well. Mm. Amen. Mm. All right, let me close up. I don't want to finish prophecies. <laughs> I'll finish them and then tomorrow we have no prophecies. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. You cannot finish the first voice. All right. So may the Lord bless you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was day two. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow for day three prepare a, way, a verse julie you're gonna be very busy because god wants me to start preparing you to work in the kingdom all right so tomorrow prepare something as well and then everybody who's here let's bring people let's bring people it's gonna get deep it's gonna get deep tomorrow it's gonna get deep when you bring in somebody here probably that person is discouraged but when they come here and they see that the lord jesus is still speaking they will be encouraged you know what I'm saying? They will be encouraged. They will be revitalized. The kingdom of God shall be bettered. Are you get what I'm saying? Amen. Lord, I love you so much because the Lord Jesus loves you more. And I cannot wait to see you tomorrow for day number uh, day number three, which is the last day. And then I, I cannot wait to see you guys. Shalom, shalom, shalom. It's going to be last day. And awesome. <laughs> All right, God bless you. <laughs> All right. As, so you can, those who want to offer, you can just start offering. Uh, listen, no matter the, the smallest amount you have, it can do something in this movement, all right? Okay. God bless you so much. Love you all. Love you all. Love you too. Bless you. Yeah.